In this illustration, we intend to simulate the progressive collapse of a two-story structure with column removal scenario in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model is composed of beam, column, continuity plate, overhanging beam, and spring. In this question, first, the middle column at the first story is removed and following that a vertical load is applied. In these pictures, the formation of the model can be observed. In this picture, the diagram of force displacement has been drawn. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are similar to those mentioned in the article. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Progressive Collapse Resistance of Two-Story Seismic Configured Steel Subframes Using Welded Connections. In this picture, the experimental sample uh, can be observed. In this picture, the diagram of force displacement has been drawn. I click on linear pattern, select beam, done, enter offset equal to 3000 millimeters, then select this line, and OK. I click on linear pattern, select these two beams, enter offset equal to 1500 millimeters, Select this line, click on flip, and OK. I will click on linear pattern, select column, done, enter offset equal to 3000 millimeters. OK. Yield stress is equal to 310 10 megapascal and the ultimate stress is equal to uh, 420 megapascal.
In the next step, uh, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. Here, the horizontal axis is the vertical displacement, and the vertical axis is vertical force. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB, History Output, and Continue. Here, I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As, then select Sum. Here, select Displacement and click on Save As. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data and continue. I will select Combine. First, select U2 and then Total Force. Put one negative sign here and one here and click on Save As. Here you observe displacement force diagram. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very similar to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.